WFYT Albany. News Channel 13, live at 5, begins right now. Students believe that they were being shot at. Tonight's top story, a scare at school. Police say a prank and students running for their lives. Good evening and thanks for joining us. I'm Jim Cambridge. And I'm Benita Zahn. Students at Boston Spa High School thought they were being fired upon this morning. Well, it turns out that someone lit some firecrackers, and that threw them into a state of chaos. No one was injured, though, but as Mark Mulholland tells us, the school and law enforcement are taking this matter very seriously. And Mark has our top story live from our Saratoga newsroom. Good evening, Mark. Well, good evening, Jim. Police have charged a senior at the school with felony criminal possession of a weapon, a charge that carries a maximum sentence of seven years in prison. 17-year-old Daniel Berger, a senior at Boston Spa High, is getting a hard lesson in criminal justice. Police say Berger lit firecrackers this morning inside the school cafeteria and threw them into a crowd of students. Students outside the cafeteria who didn't know what was happening went running, fearing the worst. A large group believed that they, there were gunshots, according to student reports. Their reaction was similar to um, what one might see if, if they thought they were being fired upon. Police rushed to the school and took Berger into custody right away. He's been suspended, and the superintendent says he could be kept out of school for the rest of the year. The fact that a student um, would, would do something to jeopardize the, uh, the safety of fellow students or adults that are in the building is, is completely unacceptable. No one was injured and nothing was broken or damaged inside the school, but police charged Berger with felony criminal possession of a weapon and misdemeanor reckless endangerment. In a post-Columbine era, um, certainly we all look at um, things that go on in schools, I think, significantly differently than we did pre-Columbine. The student will be arraigned on the charges at 7 o'clock tonight. He's being held in the Saratoga County Jail for lack of $10,000 cash bail. Live in our Saratoga newsroom, Mark Mulholland, News Channel 13. Thank you, Mark. Today's incident at Boston Spa reminds us of two very real scares over the area in the past several years. The most recent happened earlier this month in Dutchess County. A man with a shotgun held a principal hostage at Pine Plains before turning himself over to police. And five years ago, John Romano brought a gun to Columbia High School and shot a teacher before the assistant principal wrestled the gun away from him. Lawyers